So in this video we're going to look at how to create an SEO title or how to add an SEO title to your website or how to change it um, if you've already got one there and you want to make it different. So we just had a, a look at the importance of SEO titles so you can always click to go have a look at, at that video but for this particular website it's in WordPress and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So to get into WordPress you go WordPress dash admin which will bring up um, your like a login kind of details from the site so then you've got to work out whatever your username and password is for that so when I put in site colon and then the domain name while we're waiting for it to log in you'll see that this is at the moment this is the SEO title that we've got on the website and I no longer want that to be the primary focus of the business. So therefore I want to craft a totally new SEO title to start attracting completely different people to the website. So this is how you can see what Google is seeing, but actually on the website itself, if you go and hover over the tab, you'll be able to see Hopefully it should just come up any minute now. There it is. We're going to cotton t-shirts Australian made. So when you change it, you'll be able to see the change here, but you won't be able to see it immediately here. It can take um, a week or more for that to change. Okay, so we've now logged into the website. So now what you want to do is see, do you actually have some kind of SEO plugin that's going to allow you to change this SEO title? So the one that I use mostly is Yoast SEO. And if you, if you find, we're going to go through Yoast and all-in-one SEO today, but if you find that you don't have any kind of SEO plugin on your site where you can put in your SEO title, then I would definitely recommend just getting a web developer to change the title on your home page, if that's sort of what we're aiming to do, um, unless you're going to get an SEO person to, to fully set up the plugin for you because you can't just install the plugin and, and it just works. There's a whole lot of settings on it that need to be set up properly. Otherwise, it could actually damage your SEO. Okay, so I'm going to go into my SEO plugin here and I'm going to go into the section called Titles and Metas because that's where I could, where I potentially might have to change the SEO title within there for the home page. So once you get into the titles and meta sections of the Yoast SEO plugin, then you can go to the home page tab. And you can see in this particular website, I actually have to put the SEO title within this home page tab. If I go and put it on the home page itself, uh, it won't actually work, even though the home page has like an SEO section in there. So I'm going to change the SEO title to. Um, 100% organic products online and so then we'll have to change this as well so it'll be 100% find 100% organic etc etc so I can do that um, later but you get the idea so I'm just going to save that for now so I can show you how it actually changes on the website so sometimes that can take a little while um, so basically if I refresh this that's still going to stay the same like I said for a week or so but where I need to go and have a look is up here so at the moment it says organic cotton t-shirts down there organic cotton t-shirts so now I want to refresh this um, and it should now have the new SEO title so now it says 100% organic products online hope organics now in some websites if you go into this so this is a different website and I'm going into the SEO plugin titles and metas and it will say that you have to create the home page SEO title by editing the home page itself so you have to click on here 
and then this will actually take you to to the home page itself and then you'll have like the Yoast SEO plugin here if it ever opens <laughs> it will open up here and then we have the option of editing it within there so while we're waiting for that to load properly I will um, go to another website so this website has the all-in-one SEO pack now with the all-in-one SEO pack again as well you need to actually put the home page SEO title within the all-in-one plugin you can go to the the home page itself it has like the like if we go into the um, we'll go back to that but if we go into the home page itself it will also have a similar thing to what is going to come up here and um, but you'll have to if you edit it there it won't make any difference so it's all depending on the plugin so we'll just summarize that again so for this particular site it's got the Yoast SEO plugin and you need to do it in the titles and metas section for this website you actually have to do it on the home page itself and then this one with the all-in-one SEO, it has to be done within the all-in-one SEO plugin. Okay, so that page is finished refreshing now. So this is the one where I could do it at the bottom of the page. So this is the home page. And if we go down to the bottom, this is where I get to, to alter the SEO title in here. Now you might have a theme um, so that somewhere in the functions of your theme, if you go down to look in the theme options, you might have a, an SEO option. So there's a variety of ways, but what you ultimately need to do if you find something on your site and you go, oh yeah, this is the SEO title and you change it, you then need to go to your actual live site and check to see that when we hover over the, the tab at the top that it's actually changed to what you want it to be. If you... Um, can't find a way within the back end of your website in, the, in WordPress to, to change it or in whatever system that it's in, then it's definitely a good idea to talk to your web developer. Don't recommend installing an SEO plugin into your site unless you're able to, to know which settings that you're supposed to do. You know, for example, with the Yoast SEO plugin, if you install that into the, into the site, uh, then it can it can actually mess up the the titles for all the pages that you've got at the moment and so you just need to make sure that that if you're going to get the plugin installed because it's an awesome plugin but you have someone set it up for you more than willing to do that if anybody wants me to do that for them um, once the plugin is installed but um, otherwise if you would like to request a video on any other kind of SEO training, please do below and um, I'll be happy to do that so that uh, everyone can benefit from it.